All right, I showed these antennas in another video. These are some little log periodics at uh, around two gigahertz. And I'm gonna be using them between one gigahertz and two gigahertz, which is what their range is, okay? And so uh, I'm gonna be using the spectrum analyzer from 1.1 gigahertz to 2.1 gigahertz, okay? So a one gigahertz, one gigahertz span. And what I'm doing is I'm receiving with this antenna and I'm transmitting with this antenna. So this antenna goes over to the tracking generator. So I'm gonna output zero dBm on this antenna, I'm going to pick it up on that antenna, and that is what I receive, okay? And so uh, if I uh, point this antenna someplace else, you see that it's, it's drooping, and if I point it back at here, if I get it closer, it goes up, if I get it farther away, it goes down, so yeah, so it's, uh, it's being an antenna, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and keep this all on camera here. All right. So let's go ahead and normalize this. Let's say we, uh, tracking generator, uh, let's go ahead and say we are going to normalize it. So there's, there's kind of what it is standard. And then if I move back, it goes down. If I move forward, it goes forward. Okay, so I'm gonna have it here. Now I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees, okay? And you can see that it's falling. Um, and so, we are showing polarization, okay? We have a 20 dB dip uh, because we're both hor horizontally polarized now, and if we vertically polarize the transmitter, uh, yeah, it dips down to, to minus 20. It's a bit lumpy because these aren't perfect antennas and everything. But yeah, there you go, polarization. All right, so that's the step one for the experiment today. And I'm super, ex super excited about this experiment. I've been thinking about this experiment for about a year now. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I should get around to doing that. I should get around to doing that. So here it is, okay? So um, uh, the uh, E fields and H fields and whatever you want to call them, yeah, you get wigglies back and forth, and you need to have things match. Otherwise, you don't get good transmission, okay? That's why if one guy's got a vertical antenna, one guy's got a horizontal antenna, it might not work very good. Now, whenever it bumps into something, it'll get electrically polarized, and if it bounces off other things, it might change its polarization state and everything. But in general, here you see that, yeah, the two antennas that you are trying to talk to one another should have the same polarization. Otherwise, they don't work very good, okay? All right, so... The real exciting part of this experiment is brought to you by PCB Way. <laughs> uh, so uh, PCB Way allowed me to build this PC board. All right. So uh, this is the coolest PC board I've ever designed. <laughs> it has no schematic. Um, it is just a PC board. I made it very thin. I made it 0.6 millimeters, so it has very little dielectric in it, okay? And it has uh, basically traces in one direction. So these are all five mil traces. So five mil trace, a five mil space, a five mil trace, a five mil space, five mil trace. And it's just a bunch of parallel wires, okay? And if I stick this in here, and I rotate it and I stick it in here. You can see when I stick it in this direction, nothing, nothing happens. Look, look, look at the trees over there. When I, when I stick it in, yeah, nothing happens over there, okay? So um, this is a polarizer. It's called a wire grid polarizer. And if I put it in the opposite way, boom, it drops it all back down uh, because it's blocking that particular polarization state, okay? Um, yeah, it is super, super cool. Now, um, a lot of sites that claim to tell you how polarizers work are wrong. <laughs> I would say probably 90% of the sites that I've ever visited in my life that talk about polarizers, talk about how they're like uh, a picket fence or a Venetian blind, and you have a rope that, that you wiggle back and forth and you make a wave, and if the waves wiggle like this, they go through, and if the waves wiggle, wiggle like this, they won't go through. That is wrong. That is 100% wrong. That is bad science. <laughs> um, the way that it works is if you have uh, waves, now we have waves traveling in the horizontal direction. And if we have the lines in the horizontal direction, they act like antennas. 
and they will actually capture the RF energy and they will they will grab that energy and convert it to heat and that's why they that's why they work um, they actually receive the RF energy they grab it they convert it to heat and throw it all away and so uh, these lines are now in the horizontal direction and if I put it in here you see it drops and now I'll put the lines in the vertical direction I put it in here and it doesn't do anything lines in the vertical direction doesn't do anything but lines in the horizontal direction yes indeed they act as a polarizer um, so yeah these wire good polarizers are super cool I, I, like I said I've been wanting to make one of these things um, and uh, thanks to PCB way I'm able to do cool things like this for free um, so uh, this is uh, gold plated no solder mask uh, thin PC board five mil traces five mil spaces yeah I'll put this on my shared site if you want to order one of these but you need to tell them uh, make it 0.6 millimeters thin uh, don't put any solder masks on and do immersion immersion gold uh, plating on it um, I don't know if the gold plating is uh, necessary it probably works just with tin lead as well but I figured hey since they're free I'm gonna make the nicest one I can uh, this is just super cool. I think this is this is one of the best experiments I've ever done in the, in the garage. I super super like this one. Um, I think if you go to engineering school, I think you'll you're probably have done something like this in lab. Maybe um, I never had that opportunity. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know if they had as nice of polarizers as I do. 